competition at the Royal Bank Canadian Figure Skating Championships. Nettie Kim joins a long list of great champions. Jose Spinard, Karen Preston, Lisa Sargent, Karen Magnuson, Barbara Ann Scott, and the rest. Jennifer Robinson is second on her way to the world. Susan Humphreys, the bronze medal. Last year, she, remember, knocked out Karen Preston. This year, she won't be going to the world. Nettie Kim, great day, great week for her. Unforgettable for Jennifer Robinson, a junior champion a year ago. Second this year, good enough for a trip to Birmingham. There is a new women's champion in Canada. Her name is Nettie Kim. Jennifer Robinson, junior champion a year ago, second place. Susan Humphreys is third as we take a look at the rest of the field, the women's field in Halifax. And here is our new champion. Has it sunk in yet? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> but it will. Tell me, tell me about this week, uh, the, maybe bring it into perspective with the last couple of years and how it has all culminated in this. Well, um, the last couple of years have been a real building, building years, building blocks to this year, I guess. And this year, my goal was that I definitely wanted to make the top three. And throughout this whole week, it's been a, prog a steady progression and... Now it's over, and I'm really satisfied with my performance. Now you head to the World Championships, and what a confidence boost that will be to be amongst the best in the world. How do you even think about preparing now? What will you do? Will you do anything differently heading towards Birmingham? Well, this definitely will be a confidence booster in my training when I get home. And I guess I'll just keep going the way I've been going all year and keep getting stronger. One of the great things about becoming a champion, you get to say hi to anybody you want back home. Anybody you want to say hi to? I want to say hi to all my family and Upper Canada, especially for helping me out and supporting me. Thanks so much. They're going to have to call you something different now that you're Canadian champion. <laughs> I hope not. I hope they don't see me differently. <laughs> uh, Nettie, uh, congratulations. What a, a great week, a Thank great you. day for you. Nettie Kim, the Canadian Women's Champion, 1995. Debbie and Brian? What an event. What an event. Heart stopper, as a matter of fact. I can't help but think back just uh, one short year to Edmonton when the tables turned this year on Susan Humphreys. Remember how she skated out and, and took away that berth on the Olympic team from Karen Preston, and it happened to her this year. She's down in third place. I think, actually, it's more like... The other skaters, like Jennifer Robinson, Nettie Kim, actually earned their position rather than having them take it, taking it away from somebody else. But Susan's a great athlete. She's a great competitor. She, I know, will bounce back from this. And let's just hope that the, that the women who do go to the World Championships place in the top ten that we can send to the next year. And for Susan, it gives her an opportunity, a little less pressure, I think, to go back and let this back men uh, get real healthy so she can come back next year. Congratulations to our new champion, Nettie Kim, and to all of the rest of the great competitors. Rod. New champions galore in Halifax this week at the Canadians. Nettie Kim is one of them. On her way to the World Championships along with her teammate, Jennifer Robinson, they'll carry the flag in England. We'll be back to wrap up the week in Halifax. Canada, from the Upper Canada North York Skating Club,
bronze medalist from the Royal Lenore Club in Edmonton, Susanna Humphrey. Year, third this time. She won't be at the world, but we will see her throughout the year. And we will see her next year in Ottawa at the 1996 National Championship. Debbie and Brian, the new order of women's skating in Canada. They certainly look fabulous standing on the podium. And I think a good sign when you see that two juniors have moved ahead of a more seasoned Susan Humphreys. A good sign of just the kind of depth we're going to see in women. They all are very special. They are all three unique stylists. Fresh new faces in a post-Olympic year. A lot of tears on that podium. Tears of joy and tears of being defeated. And we've all been there at different times. Sometimes, sometimes you feel at this moment that you've really lost the war, but it's only a very small battle for Susan Humphrey. It's something that she will learn from build character and still with her her youth she's only 19 years of age she has a bright career ahead of her as does Nettie as does Jennifer from Great Britain. And what a thrill for these three women to be sharing the spotlight with Barbara Ann Scott, who is also there being part of the medal presentation. Assistant referee, Jean Matthews. Tremendous participation at this event by the sponsoring corporation, Royal Bank, right on top. Championship team of Canada, Menzies and Bombardier, pairs champions, three pairs teams heading to the Worlds, including Allison Gaylor, David Pelche. Surprise of the week, their first international taste. Jodine Higgins and Sean Rice are heading to Birmingham, England as well. They finish third in the pair. Shaylin Bourne and Victor Kratz. They could become world champions someday. They might make the podium in Birmingham. They're the best in Canada. Three-time Canadian dance champion. Second in Canada. Right in their footsteps. Jennifer Boyce, Michelle Brunet. They're on their way to the world, too. How about Sebastian? Canadian men's champion. First time for him. Another trip to the world championship along with Marcus Christensen. He's been there before, an experienced competitor. He finished second in Halifax. And lest we forget the king, Elvis, injured in Nova Scotia, but he'll be at the Worlds, of course. Nettie Kim, her first world championship, the new Canadian women's champion. And also Jennifer Robinson. You did something, you taped something to your pillow, apparently. Um, I taped some England money to my bedpost just for good luck, just in case. 
It was good luck for you. How do you feel right now? Um, I go back to Skate Canada when you had that first international experience. How much did that help? Oh, it helped so much. I mean, this helped me get ready for Canadians. It was the groundwork, and it just made me learn a whole bunch of different things that I could apply to Canadians. Tell me about your performance before, during, and after. Um, before, I was thinking, okay, just calm down, relax, breathe, create my own space. During the program, I'm thinking, breathe. And then at the end of the program, I was just so happy because it was over, and I put in as the best performance that I thought I could for today and everything just worked out really well. And then you had to wait. Oh, yeah, the waiting's the worst part. It's bad, but um, it's a, it gets me focused and ready again for the next thing. You had a chance to share it with your mom. She's here. Yeah, my mom. She wasn't even supposed to be here. Um, she decided the, the night before we started competing, she can't stay at home, and now she's here along with my dad, and I'm really glad that they came. I love you guys. Now they're going to have to join you in Birmingham, England. Congratulations to Jennifer Robinson, silver medalist. Here at Canada, the Royal Bank Canadian Figure Skating Championship. She's on her way to Birmingham, England with the rest. For all